welcome to the screencast. I'm going to talk about the phosphor icons object. Now this font family is really flexible. You can change shape, color, size, and each icon can be either thin, light, regular, bold, or you can fill it up. And you can add a link to it if you need it or an effect. There are four different effects. Grow, shrink, shake, and float. Now I've opened a template from our marketplace. It's called Kidsland. Here it is. And I added the phosphor icon object inside. I put it in different places. That's the first one. Now by adding an icon in your website, you find a way to show rather than to tell. And remember that it needs to be instantly recognizable and easy to understand. There's another one over here. And I left a spot right here next to teachers because I want to put an icon with you and show you how it's done. Now let's look into WebSidex 5. Here we are, my page is already open and I left a spot right here next to teachers. Now first of all, where can I find the object? Please look into manage in the top right corner, here we are. Hit on it and amongst the categories look into icons. You'll find it in the list. You can download it on the right hand side and then hit OK. Now once you've got it, if you cannot find it immediately, please look in the drop down list and look into icons again. You'll find it below. Now hit on it and drag it into your page. Then double click. Now this is the first thing you'll see. You'll find an orange arrow. There it is. But you can change it in whatever you need. First of all, look into the category section. You'll find different categories. There are loads of icons. And you can choose the one you prefer. Now let's look into one for example. By hitting on this menu below, icon. There you see. I'll show you another one. For example, this one. And I've already looked inside the different categories and I found the one I like in social and chat. Next to the teachers, I want to add a person. There it is. But I did not use the orange in my project. I prefer this color over here. So I'm going to change it. And I want to show you that I can change it just like I showed you before from thin, here it is, to light, regular, bold, or I can fill it up. I've chosen the regular version, here it is. Now in this section below, I can choose my size. I've got 100, but I'll show you that if I add 200, it'll be huge, look. Or if I put 50, it'll be a lot smaller. So let's go back to 100. Perfect. Now my margin, you cannot see it now because I do not have a background. Let's go and add a color over here. I'll put black so you can see it nicely there. This is my margin. If I change this margin from 20 to 50, for example, my, my icon will be a lot smaller. And if I add zero, it'll be bigger. So let's go back to 20. And while I have a background color, I'll show you my corners. Now this is slightly rounded, but if I add 50, for example, it'll be all round, a circle there. Or if I add zero, it'll be completely square. Now I'll take my background color away because I don't need it there and I'll go back to black. In my last section I've got my options. I can choose an effect type either grow there or shrink there. Shake you saw them before in my live preview 
and float. I'm not going to pick one because I don't need it in my website. I don't want to put too many things and I'll show you the link. You can add whatever link you need and like. But I don't need one right now. And this is my icon. Let's go and see the preview. Let's go right down to the teachers section. And here is my icon, just like I need it. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please contact our help center.